but I'm gonna show you two things from the Amazon collection. Hi queens, welcome back to a daily vlog. It is Thursday and what are we gonna do today? Uh, I just finished taking pictures actually. Josh just like came home midday so we could, um, we have two things to shoot. So I need to go edit that content and send it in for brand approval. I need to edit a video. Um, I'm gonna give you a little update, house update of like the downstairs area. I don't think I really showed that in the last vlog. Um, so like the kitchen, living room space, <laughs> it's still pretty empty, but we do have things on order. So I'll kind of like catch you up with that. And um, oh, I was gonna do an online um, like shop with me but I couldn't wait because something I wanted was <laughs> selling out. But I'll show you what I got. So like if you're interested before I like actually get to doing the haul, cause this video will be first, you can purchase it. Um, so I'll kind of like show you what I bought, but sorry, I, I couldn't wait. Before we head downstairs, <laughs> um, I have my samples for my Amazon collection. <laughs> now, I think I might try one thing on <laughs> in this video just to show you. Um, but let me know in the comments what you would like to see. I want to do a couple of videos. Of course, I want to do like an entire just try on and show you um, everything in the collection. But I think it'd be helpful if I do like some styling videos or like the different ways I plan to style the items. What would be most helpful to kind of like decide if you want to purchase, what you want to purchase? Let me know below. It's still unbelievable um but i'll show me I'll, I'll try on at least one item um in this video just so you can kind of get an idea but it's so good it's 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 so me um it's classic it's staples it's you can dress everything up dress everything down um it's neutral <laughs> okay let's go downstairs finish our work and then we'll come back upstairs and try stuff on Downstairs, I just finished editing the pictures. They came out really good. Um, so let's do a little tour of down here before we get into like the shopping and trying on of clothes and things. Um, so I'll show you like the downstairs. As you can see, it's pretty empty, but I'll like walk you through if furniture is ordered or not, what we got coming what the plans are, things like that. Before we get into that, I wanna show you some little home goodies. This part of the video is in partnership with Fracture. I'm sure you've heard of them before, but if you haven't, um, they make like picture frames basically, but they're not picture frames. They're just glass pictures. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, but they're so cute. I have a bunch, but I have one little vignette that I'm gonna put in the living room. So, oh, you can kind of see in the background. And I love this because I am the worst at actually printing out pictures. I don't know like the last time I've like actually put pictures in a frame, but I take pictures, I'm sure like you do, like everywhere I go and when I travel and all those things, and we never print them out. <laughs> we just like, you know, post them and kind of like move along. And since we can't go anywhere um, right now, I thought it'd be nice to kind of like have them here to look at and, you know, reminisce about the good old days. So these, this is my little living room vignette. I'll flip it around um, and show you. But these are like pictures that Josh and I took together. Um, and I have a few different sizes. And I think I'm gonna do like something cool on this wall. I'm not sure yet. I have a bunch more I'll show you so you can kind of let me know what you think. Um, this one was Look how big it is, so pretty. You can hang these, so that's what I'm thinking, like a type of collage or something. Um, this one, um, I took in Paris on my iPhone. How like nice did that look? And then this one is of us in Italy, and this one is in Paris, and then this one is just, 
<laughs> of us in our old apartment but you know we just don't take pictures that often together so and it kind of went with the theme so yeah i'm thinking um thinking of doing something on this wall so let me know what you think but let me show you um the other ones they do um a bunch of different sizes so you'll see i got like I don't even think this is the largest size, but I got a few large ones like this and then I got a few small ones because I want to be able to just put pictures all around the house, but not worry about like if the frames match the rooms, you know what I'm saying? So I like this idea. I just printed out a bunch. Okay. So these are the other pictures I printed out and these are mainly like, just like really special moments that I want to like remember that I'm probably going to put in like my um, closet or my studio. Um, and they also come with, I got some stands to go with some of them so I can just like prop, um, the smaller ones up. So this one was, and you see your stand is under here. This one was in the Amalfi Coast. Josh took that of me. This was at, um, the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert. That's one of my best friends, Evan. This was um, the last time I was at Fashion Week. Um, that's my manager right there, Shanae. And then just, uh, a bunch of amazing black bloggers and this was in Tulum you guys know Monroe, Danielle, Rose, Dadu Sheik and Kayla Walker so that's just like a really fun memory and I want to be able to kind of like just look at it and you know remember that fun day and then this is from um where was this at Greece uh Mykonos this was in Mykonos Josh took this of me and I love it so yeah, I thought these would like brighten up my closet kind of studio. So yeah, I really love those. And again, I like the idea of like the no frame so that I can kind of like, I can move them around easily. They'll go in any room um, to kind of like, you know, just liven it up. And since like I miss traveling <laughs> so much, so I literally, that's why I printed out all travel pictures of just like beautiful destinations that just bring me good vibes, good memories, all those things. So I'll let you know what I end up doing with those and then let me know your ideas for this. I feel like these are the most neutral, so that's kind of why I want them to go in the living room somewhere or even the office, like that little thing will be the, the office over there. So let me know, should I just put them on the stands or should I hang them? I'm thinking about hanging them. But yeah, um, I'll leave details below about Fracture and how you can shop. What else? Uh, make sure you check out their Instagram, but really affordable or easy. I just uploaded the pictures. That's all I had to do. Like, so just straight from my phone. I just uploaded them to the site, picked the size I wanted, picked if I wanted um, a little stand or not. And it was super easy and super quick, which I like. So more info will be below about Fracture. Make sure you check them out. Tell them I sent you. Now, let's move on to the tour. Walk in. Um, this is our dining room. This will probably be one of the last places we decorate. We want this to be together by Christmas, so no rush there. This picture I know will go here, like on that wall. Um, those are just tables I kept from the old apartment. We're probably gonna give those away. And then these are just literally two random, like, junk boxes that we may need to go through and kind of figure out if we want to keep that stuff and then over here this will be the office that is not staying but i just needed to make it look nice so i didn't feel like i was looking living in like a pigsty but this will be the office we actually just ordered our desk a chair a little side chair um a bunch of things these are our curtains so i just need to get those hung up um, I got really nice like linen curtains from Ikea. I ordered, I think I have 20 <laughs> because I wanted it in all of the windows um, down here. That's just trash. Um, this little table, it's probably not going to stay. I'm probably going to put it on the other side of this wall, but I couldn't pass it up from Home Goods because it's the perfect mix of kind of like what I'm going for. I want special pieces that are unique that add just like texture and just like make you feel like world traveled that's the goal I'm going for very elegant but also cozy and comfy at the same time so I love this little table got it from home goods the lamp we already had the little leaves are from Ikea and I think this vase is from home goods as well and that is from home goods 
Um, so that's literally all the furniture so far. This is a chandelier for my studio. I think I talked about it in the last vlog. We just need to get it up. And then here is the kitchen. Um, we got stools, which were the perfect stools that kind of add that farmhouse vibe back to the kitchen. We got those from at home, um, but I couldn't find them online, but I found the exact same ones from Walmart. So I'll link those. And we changed the hardware here. It's gold now. I think I showed that already, but if you missed it, um, it's gold and I love it. Mixed metals is very in for design. I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> So I like how it came out. This, we actually have a table on order. These are our little patio chairs from the apartment. We just brought them because like we have guests and people needed somewhere to sit. Um, but this, we have a new table coming and new chairs coming, but it won't be here until like November. So that's just what it's gonna be for now. And our sofa, there's another chair. <laughs> And this chair is in our bedroom. We literally just bought it, brought it so we could have somewhere to sit. Um, we got the TV mounted. Um, we're probably gonna move it down because um, Josh wasn't here and I gave the directions and they didn't, didn't go very well. <laughs> but yeah, um, the table we're not keeping, but our sofa will be here next month. Okay, let me show you what I got from H&M and then we'll look on Zara. We'll see what Zara is talking about um let me show you what i got from h&m it's really i mean i got basics like i needed pants i needed just like plain sweaters it's cold here already it's like 60 today um so but it's like i don't want to pull out a coat yet so i just needed a few more sweaters also the studio collection dropped today for h&m so that's why i had to like carry up and check out i was trying to wait and then that I saw that it dropped and I was like, stuff was already sold out and I got on 30 minutes after it dropped. But anywho, this shacket, uh, there we go, that I'm very excited about. It's like um, lavender kind of color, super cute. Let me see if I can go to it, here we go. Oh, look how cute it is. I would never button it like that though. <laughs> um, I got this in a large because I want it to be super oversized. Oh, I love it with some skinny pants and Big boots, yes, the colors, really nice texture. I really, really like that, I'm excited about that. This is the main reason I went to the site um, to see this. And then this is the other thing I got, this coat. This was a part of the studio collection, it sold out already. I got a large because that was all that was left. I was gonna get a small or a large. <laughs> And then the small sold out. So, you know, I like stuff oversized. This um, reminds me of a YSL coat from last year that I wanted terribly bad. So I'm just hoping that it is just as good in person as it is here. And then what else did I get? Okay, the next thing I got were just some plain black leggings, but they're like super thick um, like pants. Um, but I got those just to have another option to tuck into boots. I got two of these sweaters. They're just the same sweater, uh, but I got one in kind of like a tan and one in black because I wore the hell out of my black sweater <laughs> like this last year from Zara. So it needs to be replaced. And I got a large because I want this to cover my butt. See the color? Yeah. Um, it's like a chocolate brown. Just basically like kind of what I got on um, V-neck and Back upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to actually have a few new um, just clothing pieces to show you, but I'm going to show you two things from the Amazon collection. I think I can. <laughs> I probably should have asked, um, but I asked before this video goes live. But I'm going to try on two things. Okay, this is the first thing. Uh, let me come up close. You can see the texture. Um, it's kind of like ribbed. It's thick. The quality is amazing. This is a show wrap sweater dress and it's in a cream color oh my god it's so so cute i'm wearing a size medium and i love it it kind of like is a little bigger in the sleeves because my idea was that you can pull it up like this you see the vibe like you could do this with a white boot or you could do it with a tennis shoe everything that i made was kind of like again dress up Dress down. So let's try with the boot. Ugh. Ugh. 
Do you see this? Do you see this? This is the look. This is the look. Like white boot. Turn up the brightness. It's just, it's so comfortable. Everything is so comfortable. And you know how happy that makes me. It's just easy, comfy. You don't have to fuss. Um, it's just so good. Um, also, let me show you with tennis shoes. Okay, and then this is with little tennis shoes and this is kind of the other way. Um, I was thinking that you could wear it. Oh my God, it's so, I'm just so pleased with the quality. It's so weighty. And again, you could, so many ways to wear it. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. I'll, I'll show one more thing. Um, and then I need to save it because I still need to shoot everything. And, oh, it's so cute. It's so comfortable. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Favorite look, and I feel like it is totally me in the fall and winter. They're all totally me, but I feel like if you like how I dress in the fall and winter, you will absolutely need this outfit. I'm wearing it, it's cream. Cream was a standout piece or standout color in this collection. So let me turn you around. Say hello to the perfect lounge set. Um, it's cream, it is everything. Uh, it's so soft, It's com everything is comfortable. That's just not even a question, um, but the pants, they are, tapered so they look nice they're not elastic like you know regular sweatpants so they feel a little more elevated um I, this detail is very important to me again to elevate it so it doesn't just feel like a regular sweatshirt um also not putting like a thick hem at the bottom so that you could easily tuck it in and it just you didn't have to fuss with it too much there are drawstrings here when i tell you i put so much thought into this sweatsuit track whatever you want to call it lounge set to make sure it was the perfect amount of comfy easy but elevated and made you feel put together my favorite <laughs> phrase um again even like all of the details all of the like trim i want it to feel like almost a tailored so that it felt like a nice outfit and not just sweatpants <laughs> and a sweatshirt and it came out so good. I'm so happy I went with this color. Um, I'm wearing, again, I'm wearing a medium and everything. They are long. So like I will eventually, I will get these taken it taken up because I always wear them with um, sneakers or like flats or sandals or something like that. But if you're tall, these will be good for you. They will hit right at the ankle and it will be perfect. And if you're shorter, you have the option of taking them in or just rolling them up, which was a thought I had as well. Um, but for shooting them for the campaign, I'm gonna keep them long because I wanna show you how to wear them with heels and flats. So, <sighs> I love this so much. I love it all, but like this was just the first thing I thought of when like this opportunity came. This was like a, if it's fall, I have to have this. And I knew exactly how I wanted it and to see like your idea. <laughs> turn out exactly how you wanted it. Like I gave so much feedback on like every time they sketched this up and brought it to me. There were so many like, no, that's not right. You know, it was some points it was like too casual and then it was like getting too frilly. And I was just like, listen, I'd, I'd rather scrap it if, if we can't get it right. And here we are. Oh, it's so good. Look at, look at this. Okay. That's all I'm showing for now. <laughs> Let me know below how you would want me to um, show the rest of the collection. Do you just want lookbooks? Do you want me to like do a sit down and just talk through every piece and also do a lookbook? I can do several videos. <laughs> just let me know. This is my baby. Exactly. You know. Sorry, I just tried on the rest of the things because I just had to send pictures to my manager. <sighs> but I'm just, I'm so, so happy and just, Still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. 
But anywho, um, I will leave um, I will leave the link for the Amazon drop in the description box so that you can sign up for alerts. If you've missed this at any point, I'm coming out with a collection with Amazon called Amazon The Drop. So my collection is the Hyla Lux collection. Um, it'll be seven to 10 pieces, size extra small to size 3X. And it will only be on sale for 30 hours. So when it's about to launch, um, I will like post about it. Amazon will post about it. Amazon The Drop will post about it. And then they'll kind of like keep like putting up reminders throughout the drop duration which is the 30 hours and then after that you can't get it anymore so um so sign up so click the link below to sign up for the alerts so that when it does drop you'll get an email or a text i think um to say like it's live um and then let me know below any type of videos you want to see relating to the collection like styling or maybe just be talking about it um i do have like some clips of like the process throughout so do you want to see that wrapped up in a vlog let me know and what else check out fracture um i will leave the links of like the sizes of the frames that i got and kind of basically what i showed you today and then i'll leave just like the website link so you can check it out and i think that's everything i'm gonna go have a glass of wine <laughs> but thank you so much for watching thank you for stopping by See you.